When we talk about busting tanks, large guns and missiles pop into our minds. The policy of tank busting of the USAF centers around this weapon which is dropped by a variety of platforms. This is a very unique and versatile weapon whose use is not just limited to the destruction of enemy armor, but a host of other targets as well. Surface to Air SAM, sites are a very big threat to combat aircraft in a conflict. To neutralize a widely spread chain of SAM sites which includes tens of launchers, radars and support vehicles, over a hundred guided missiles carried by 30 to 40 aircraft are needed. Instead, two F-15E fighters or a single bomber can drop these guided cluster bombs from high altitudes and destroy the targets effectively. A cluster bomb of this type can shred SAM launchers and radars with a high level of accuracy and effectiveness. A large number of KBU-105s can stop an enemy armored division in its tracks and disable every vehicle in it. The principle and operation of this weapon. The KBU-105 is dropped from the aircraft. As the bomb approaches the target, the outer casing opens and releases 10 Blue 108 submunitions. The submunitions are released at a considerable altitude and a parachute slows their descent. The Blue 108 submunition cylinder is now vertically oriented and descending slowly. The Blue 108 is detached from its parachute and tiny rockets which are placed at angles are fired. These provide angular thrust which enables the rotation of the cylinder at high speed while it ascends and looks almost as if it were suspended in air. Each Blue 108 submunition contains four hockey puck-shaped sensor-fused projectiles called skeets, which it releases during this high-speed rotation. The centrifugal force carries the skeets away from the now-empty submunitions canister. An infrared seeker present on each skeet scans for targets on the ground while a laser ranging device calculates the range for exact release timing. Once it locks onto a target, the skeet fires copper explosively formed penetrators which impact on top of the target. A shrapnel ring released along with it causes damage around the target. The feature that separates the KBU-105 from other cluster bombs is its exceptional safety. The skeets are guaranteed to explode after release or self-destruct after they hit the ground. This ensures that unexploded munitions aren't lying around in the battlefield as they can pose a threat to civilians in the future. The USAF is the largest user of this weapon with over 10,000 weapons in their inventory. Their goal was 17,000 and the exact numbers are unknown. Saudi Arabia purchased 1,300 KBU-105s and employed them on their F-15s. India purchased 512 of these weapons and employ them from their Jaguar strike aircraft. Other countries like Oman, South Korea, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates have also ordered the KBU-105. It was first used in combat during the 2003 invasion of Iraq and was very successful. Currently, any adversary facing this weapon has no defense against it and the only solution would be to shoot down the aircraft before it can release these smart bombs. So many videos from us, thank you for watching.